everyone. Today we're going to go over Mark Zuckerberg versus Donald Trump. Um, I'm pretty sure you all know who Mark Zuckerberg is. He's the CEO of Facebook, essentially the partial creator of Facebook. Um, and of course you know Donald Trump, the incumbent president. So I'm just pretty much going to go over this. This is suggested by one of you guys and I actually like the idea. Um, I'm probably not going to get my election night out. I'm not going to get it out this week. It'll be out sometime next week when I have it scheduled to come out, but right now I'm pretty bombarded with school. Um, no, I don't go to school yet, but we do have summer assignments, and they're a pain. So, um, yeah, so let's just get right into this. Um, so Mark Zuckerberg, pretty well known. He's actually going on a tour that looks like a presidential tour, but it's more of a corporation-type tour. His tour is going around the United States. He's visited, I think, 18 or 19 states already. States like Nebraska, Texas, Massachusetts, um, centrally around the, the east side of the Midwest, so just around Kentucky, Tennessee, states like that. And he visited Alabama on his first stop, and it just seems like he's trying to get around to the entire country. Um, he has a video ad recorded of himself feeding a baby cow riding a tractor, things like that. So it does look a little bit like a presidential campaign, but I, I personally see it as more of a corporation-type campaign to expand his business. But who knows? Um, he's pretty young, um, inexperienced, so that probably will hurt him. But the fact that he is an up-and-coming entrepreneur, he may be able to appeal to some voters that say, hey, he built himself up. I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to work my way into the middle class. They're both millionaires. I'm pretty sure Mark Zuckerberg is not as rich as Donald Trump, I'm not exactly sure, but I know Facebook is worth a lot. Um, so yeah, uh, let's just get straight into it, go through all the state states. I'm going to go through all the Republican safe states first. Um, Arizona, I'm going to leave as safe Republican. Um, I'm going to leave one congressional district as a toss-up. So yeah, pretty much these are all the... Um, safe states. I'm actually thinking about making possibly three election nights. Sarah Palin versus Hillary Clinton um, and Hillary Clinton versus Ben Carson. Well, President Hillary Clinton. It would be alternative history versus um, Ben Carson and what was the other one? I'm not sure. Uh, I know I'm doing a... I'm trying to work on a Donald Trump versus Bernie Sanders election night one, but I'm not exactly sure. I'll go over... I'll go through with it um, tonight. I'm actually, I can check out my keynote right now. So right now, I have Carson versus Clinton open, and I have my Sanders versus Clinton open. But I know there was one other one that I was thinking about doing. I think it had to do with Paul Ryan. But, yeah, so, um, so these are all the safe Republican states that have vo voted, that voted solidly Republican, other than the state of Arizona, Utah, and Texas, pretty much, um, yeah, Texas was decided less than Indiana, which was a toss-up state in 2012 and some part of this year. Um, Utah voted for Evan McMullen. That's why I said that state. It voted for Donald Trump solidly, but if you add Clinton and McMullen's margins together, I'm pretty sure that if it went to Clinton or McMullen, one of them would have won the state. Um, so now let's go through it with all the safe Democratic states. Um, I'm going to give Washington and Oregon to Zuckerberg because I think that he could appeal to them, mainly living out there. Um, Hawaii, New Mexico, safe. Colorado's a toss-up. Nevada is a toss-up. Um, Illinois, safe Democrat. Ohio, toss-up. I'm going to give the entire Rust Belt as a toss-up. Um, Iowa, I'm going to leave with Trump. Minnesota, I'm going to leave with Zuckerberg because it went for Clinton, and I think that Zuckerberg could really appeal to white working class type of voters, but I don't think he could appeal to minorities the same way. Um, Georgia, I'm going to leave that one in the Republican column along with North Carolina. Florida, I'm going to leave as a toss-up. Virginia, I'm leaving blue. I think that it's slowly turning more blue, but it's trending really... It depends on how the House elections turn out and how Trump's approval um, affects him overall. Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, all these, New York, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Vermont, and Maine. I'm going to leave. Um, I'm going to give one congressional district to Trump because I think that the rule voters will end up a victory there. So right now it is actually 
um, almost tied by one electoral vote, so really I need to put New Hampshire as a toss-up. But, so, like if Trump wins Nebraska's first congressional district, it's like third, second congressional district, but I mark it as the third just for reasons, because it's easier. But that would actually be the tie. So I'm actually going to leave it as a toss-up, so right now it's 213 to 212. Um, so I personally think that Zuckerberg could definitely appeal to the white working class, but he could also appeal to the Midwest a lot better than Trump does. I mean, Trump is a Republican. Zuckerberg would definitely run as a Democrat, so I do think that that would hurt him. But if he did run as a Republican, I think he would carry these states better than Trump would, like North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, definitely. Um, oops. Um, New Hampshire, I'm going to leave in the Democratic column only because, although you may be inexperienced, they did vote for Hillary Clinton. Um, the Northeast really seems to love Zuckerberg. He pretty popular there. Um, actually, throughout the entire United States, pretty popular. I mean, he's a um, social media star, essentially. He's huge CEO. So, like, he could really appeal to these types of these types of voters and these types of people. So, I felt like Sarah Palin saying these types of people. But, um, yeah, but I don't think he could appeal to minorities. It depends on who he chooses as his running mate, though. Um, I personally could see him choosing someone from the establishment Democrats all the way up to someone like Bernie Sanders, the non-establishment Democrats. So it really depends on how the theme is played out during this election. If we're back to race intentional and racism issues, then he'll probably choose a minority. If we're working on jobs and actually pure policy, he'll probably choose someone from the Democratic establishment. And that'll usually be someone like Tim Kaine or someone like Tom Perez, people like that. Um, so yeah, um, let's just make a few calls real quick. Florida, I'm still going to leave as a toss-up. Michigan, I think that one is going to stay blue because it's rated more blue than both Wisconsin and Pennsylvania and went for Trump the least. I think that Zuckerberg could definitely flip it if Trump does not follow through with his promises, definitely. Um, I just now noticed that Michigan has that missing spot in the state. Um, so yeah, Wisconsin I'm going to give to Zuckerberg and along with Pennsylvania. Now hear me out before you get upset about this one. Just think about it. If we have um, someone who doesn't keep their promises, this entire th this entire map is built on Trump not keeping his promises. Um, if you take a state that you promised jobs to and you don't follow through, that will hurt you. That will end your campaign for re-election. If you promise them and you don't follow through, you're not going to go through. See, what Democrats did is they filled up the void of some empty promises and put in new promises like they bailed out the auto industry in Michigan that really turned them back they would have probably flipped to Romney um, if that wasn't done well I mean really that really would have helped Democrats that year but it all it all was about timing I mean if Obama was not going through with um, all of his promises then he probably wouldn't have run won the Rust Belt again I mean he, he didn't really promise them jobs but he promised them a group boosting economy and he f he fell through with some of the promises, but he did go through with the economy part. The economy was pretty well done well under Obama. I mean, the gas prices there have dropped drastically since the Bush administration. Obama was able to go through with Romney's promises in one uh, with McCain's promises in one term, and what Romney said he would do in eight years, Obama did in four years. So that really helped him there. But Democrats have been doing that. They've been um, filling up some empty promises, but. If Republicans cannot do that, they will lose the Rust Belt and it will flip back to the Democratic side. It is not safe Republican, nor is it leaning Republican. It is, in fact, likely Democratic because it's been going for the Rust Belt. The Rust Belt has been going for Democrats for 20 plus years. And if they don't go through with their promises, and even if they do, it's going to be an uphill climb again for them because they need to corral their base. He won by so small margins, and any little thing can turn off voters, like the Comey letter or... Emails, just think about it. Any little thing will turn off a small majority of voters, and in these states, every single vote counts. Now, Nevada and Colorado, I'm going to give to Trump. Hear me out about this one. Um, Zuckerberg cannot appeal to minorities whatsoever, in my opinion, so I'm going to give that one to Trump. And I think that his inexperience will hurt him overall in the state of Florida, but um, I think the other country would be optimistic about him, and now we're in a 2004 situation, Ohio will actually be the deciding factor. And actually, if Trump doesn't keep his promises, I think, I I personally don't see Ohio flipping, even if Trump doesn't keep his promises. Because, I mean, think about it. Ohio was almost safe Republican this year. Um, it would take a huge number of voters, 
from the state of Ohio in a swing state like itself to flip back. So this is my final map. Thank you guys for watching and comment down what I should do for my 100 subscriber special. Um, I just reached 100 subscribers, so pretty happy about that. So um, yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching and please comment down below.